Gentlemen, gentlemen, I am on my way to meet my good Fagua Tanyan Li Yi Gao Shou Gurman Morgan. And today he's going to teach you how to take a girl on a coffee shop date. You will learn all of that today. So let's go. Morgan, how are you doing? Hey. Hi everyone, my name is Morgan. I'm French. I'm a food and beverage expert and social and business etiquette expert. DE the strategic sitting. Aha. When you come to a coffee shop with your date, you will have two options. Whether you want to sit next to her or whether you want to face her. If you want to sit next to her, you will more be in a friendly setting. You won't look at her all the time. Second point, you will sit facing your date, facing him, facing her. And this is much more complicated because you have to look at him or her right in the eyes for the entire dinner, for the entire meal. Look into my eyes. Dan Jung, Yali Shanda, Yali Tai Dala, because you're always staring at the La Mei. So for me, I would sit next to them like this. Jung, you can't hang out. Clever day. That's where I disagree with you. Oh. For me, on a first date, I would always sit facing the lady. Interesting. I want to see her for the entire party and mm. I want to impress her a little bit and keep her eye contact always. Sitting next to each other makes us feel more like we are good friends and right. you lose that romantic aspect and if all of a sudden we look at each other we mm -hmm. feel extremely close all Ooh. of a sudden. Facing the lady you might make it a little bit more formal and a little bit less obvious. D. Arga. Elbows. In a very formal setting we would say that we don't want to have your hands, nor your forearm, nor the elbows on the table. However, in a very casual setting like this one, like today, for a coffee date, for example, we will be a little bit more relaxed and we'll be okay with having just, for example, my wrist resting on the table with my hands. As you can see, this would be totally fine. In some settings, like this one, a bar counter with a high table, I can't sit really properly. Even the beginning of my forearm, not in a formal setting, but today, around a cup of coffee, we could tolerate that. What would be totally unacceptable is to put my elbow directly on the table. Even if you think it might look cool to be like this and to talk to the person, don't put elbow on table, never. Whether you are in a formal situation, whether you are in a casual situation, no elbows on table. Okay, just to clarify, Gummon, this is Okay. okay, this is sometimes okay. Sometimes. This is totally unacceptable. Unacceptable. A crime. Yes, exactly. Never, never do this. I will arrest you for that. Morgan will come and arrest you. One last point about elbow. When you are having some food with your cutleries and you want to cut, make sure you don't start to fly. Keep your elbows tucked in. You will look much smarter like that, and you can focus on your eye contact. D. Sanga. Cutlery skills. When I'm dating someone, very important, I have to keep in mind the most important is not the food, but my date. And sometimes I will have to engage the conversation. So, what should I do with my cutleries? Can I have a conversation using them and pointing knife at him or her? Definitely no. When I want to talk, even if I still have some food in my blade, I will place my cutleries at what we call 720. Basically, I will consider my plate as a clock, the 12 being here, the 6 being at the bottom, 3 on the right, 9 on the left. I will place my cutleries like that. My knife at the number 4 on the clock, the blade facing inside. My fork, pins facing down on top of my knife, crossing the blade at 7. This will be my 720 position and I keep a bit of the handle out of the plate. I don't want my entire cutlery to go in my plate. I will keep part of my cutlery out of the plate. This is a resting position. I can now 
talk to my day, I can make some movement without having cutleries in hand. I'm not focusing on my food, I'm focusing on your eyes. Why do you need to do all this? What's the point? It's a simple code for the waiters, for the serving staff, mm -hmm. to understand that I'm not finished with my food, so no one can clear my plate. One key point to keep in mind about cutleries is they never return to the table. At the beginning, you will have them on the table as soon as they are in your hand. They don't go back to the table. Like a knife, right? I'm now done with my food. I will place my cutleries down position. I will still consider my plate as a clock, but this time I will place them at 6.30. This is a traditional British style. British are very formal. They only allow 6.30 position. So fork and knife, my fork is this time tins facing up, the blade of my knife is always facing in and I still have half of my cutleries outside of the plate. I've seen a lot of people who are doing this, but I don't think it's like this. It's not like this, we can do it like this. This will be totally fine, basically between 4.20 and 6.30, it's fine as long as fork is on the left, knife is on the right, fork tins facing up, knife blade facing in, then you can move between 6.30, 5.25, 4.20. This will show to everyone that you are done with your food and they can clear. Morgan. We are in a French casual dining place. You might have cold cuts and cheese platter for sure. And it will be a great option to share with your day. Cheese platter, do you day? Cheese and cold cuts platter. Yeah. Cheese and cold cuts platter. Exactly. Nai lao. Yeah, watch out, that's a move. Fire you, I'm sure. Assiette de charcuterie et fromage. Ooh, tell me how to eat it. I'm going to eat it. Okay, so it's this, German. It's a cheese. So different types of cheese, some green leaves, some cherry tomatoes, and one variety of ham. Perfect for two. It will come with some fresh baguettes, some fresh bread. So a cheese platter always comes with bread. And in France, baguettes. Yes, definitely. We will always eat cheese and cold cuts with fresh baguettes. Yes, definitely. Exactly. And so, so having a nice platter with a nice piece of baguette make always beautiful pictures. So much. First, what I will do, if you remember the very first video we did, bread, I can grab it with my hands. So I know exactly which one I want. I just grab one and I put this in my plate. I will break a piece of bread a piece big enough for me to do one bite only. I won't break half of it. I will just get a little piece like that. My cutleries, same little reminder from first session. Tint and blade facing down. You see my elbows are in. And I will pick maybe a little piece of ham and bring them to my plate. A little piece of cheese, let's say I want this one. I will put it in my plate. I know in China people like to serve each other, it's, uh, it's very respectful, it's very nice. In a Western setting, even in a casual day, dining, especially if it's your first date, you might not go for it. You can just invite your date to help herself first. So please have some cheese, have some ham, have a bit of bread. You might bring the plates a little bit closer to her for her to help herself. So when you pick the food with your cutleries, picking and with the fork only would be totally acceptable, especially in a casual setting. I won't pick with my knife. It looks quite rude, quite disrespectful. You can pick with the fork, not with the knife. So in a casual dining, you might order and you might be served something that we call a spread or a dip. This is typical French style, it's a tuna rillette. It's very tasty, very nice to share. How to eat that though? I will once again break one piece of bread, just enough to make one bite. And this is probably the most important tip to remember. As soon as I'm dining anywhere in a casual or in a formal place, I always break my bread with a piece big enough to do one bite only. Only one bite? Only one bite. I never pick the entire toast and I never chew the whole piece of bread once. Never. Okay, never. Wait a minute. Don't okay. want to make too much sound, too much noise at the table with your mm. mouth. If you have to bite into a whole piece, it means that everyone, especially your date, will see everything you have in your mouth. It won't look smart. It won't look very elegant. I will grab the little knife, the spreader, in my other hand. I will get a little bit. No need to get too much. I will put it on my bread. I have enough to, to do one bite. I put back the spreader 
on the little jar or on the little plate. Mm -hmm. Definitely not in my plate, it won't go to my plate. It will stay here, this is for both of us to use. Mm -hmm. And then I can put that directly in my mouth. I can't talk. Ah, okay. Don't ask a question to your date when she's chewing her food. It will make her feel very uncomfortable and she will feel all of a sudden she has to hide a little bit and she will want to answer your question, but she can't. So keep an eye on when she's eating, if she has her mouth full, wait a little bit. As soon as she swallowed the food, ask your question. Excuse me, Gail. What do you mind not chewing in my ear? Show your mouth. Oh. That's much better. Not do this, come on, Chris. Do this. Exactly. You can hear me. You will talk. Eating. Just disgusting. You will talk only when you don't have any food in your mouth. That's the key point. That's the most important. Gail? Yep. Yeah. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. 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 Thank sorry. you, sir. D. Wuga, what you little girl? Wang la. Wine. Hong Jiu. Morgan. Dang Yue La Made Would you order a bottle or a glass of wine? That's a tricky question to ask a French person. I'm French, I have more wine in my vein than blood, so obviously I would. But definitely you don't have to, that's definitely not mandatory. A lot of Chinese people when they drink wine, they always Peng Bei. Peng Bei, you can eat her. This is a cultural difference between China and in the West. In the mm -hmm. West, we will cheers, we will clean glasses only once for the very first sip. So most probably when the bottle is coming to the table, we have our first glass and first we will try to get the eye contact. And it's then, a Bay. Yes, exactly. Right. That will be the first one, but that will be the last one as well. We don't ah. have to do it all the time and we can drink both at our own pace. Basically, I don't have to follow Gailey's pace. If he wants to drink five bottles, he right. will do it by himself. It's more girl and jury. That's the difference, right? It's individualism. So it's our wine, we just want to drink it. We're selfish. You don't need to drink it together. You drink it individually. Yes, exactly. You will drink it at your own pace. You don't have to cheers and to follow other people's rhythm and pace. And remember, Gummen, Ruha Na Jona. Jiang, Deba. No. Jiang. When you hold a wine glass, always by the leg, using your thumb on one side, your index and middle finger on the other side. You just pinch the leg and your two other fingers stay tucked in. Junk Kaima. No, you don't want the little pinky to come out. This okay. is not elegant, not posh at not all. Posh. Okay. Keep it in. One finger is okay? One finger, it's the gaily style. Yeah, the gaily it's, style. A, it's okay, yeah, it's still considered, especially in a casual dining, it's totally fine as long as you don't grab the bowl. We don't want to grab the bowl, we don't okay. want to change the temperature of the wine, always by the leg. Always by the leg. And German, when you pung bay, ni pung bay the shaho, ni shibusha bi shu yao, jia, stare into her eyes. Yes, exactly. In the West, in France, in the UK, we really like when we chill to look at each other in the eyes. Mm -hmm. It makes the moment more official, more ceremonial. We will more do romantic. it only once and more romantic as well. And if you don't do it, many people will tell you in the eyes. When you connect the glasses, you connect with the person as well. You yeah. connect the eyes and the glasses. Not when you drink. Okay. When you drink, you don't have to look at her in the eyes. It will make the moment really uh, very well, really awkward. <laughs> No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not very gentle. Not very gentle. So after you drink, no, no sound. No, no sound. Once again, avoid any sound with your mouth. Okay. When you are dating. Okay. What about the sound of kisses? <laughs> And Gummen, Rugo, Nio, Pingza, or Nio Gay, Lame, Dao Jo, the Hot, Nio Gay, Dao, Dua Shauna, Morgan. Okay, if you want to be really a gentleman, you might want to serve her the wine from the bottle into mm -hmm. her glass. How much wine should you put? Very simply, divide the glass into three parts and never fill more than one serve. When the wine is served, it's 
at the perfect temperature. If you pour too much, it will get warmer. So you want to keep mm. the good temperature, especially if it's white wine or champagne that will be served very chilled. You want to keep them chilled. That's where you will enjoy them the most. Cheers. Bonus Thai Dan Di Shiga Ruha Thai Carpeting Dash An La Mei. Now, Gumman Morgan owns a coffee shop, this coffee shop, so he's seen a lot of Nan Sheng Dash Anning La Mei. A lot of Zhong Guan Nan Ren, Wai Guan Nan Ren, Dol Shu Shu Who Dash Ans more? Zhong Guan Nan Ren or Wai Guan Nan Ren? Both. Both, okay. Well, I want you to tell us some stories and which Dash Ans are more successful. Okay, so basically today I will give you two main tips that I saw a couple of times and that work pretty well. Mm -hmm. The first one more into the evening time when it's drinking time, a bit of wine or, mm -hmm. and you are having a glass, like yesterday, and you see one lady that you really like, you can ask for the help of the waiter, of the waitress to help you and to say, would you mind offering a glass of wine to that lady on my behalf? You don't have to talk to that lady, but the waiter will do it for you, he will pour her a glass of wine and he will say it's on behalf of the gentleman over there. Chào nèo phụ yuan, kè phụ yuan shuo, wà sàng xin nèi wè nèi 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 bèi hong jiu. Phụ yuan hui tù tùi là mèi shuo, Exactly. And then, and then, Rahona. And then, so I've seen different situations. Or the lady will stand and come to thank the gentleman, and it might initiate a conversation. Or the gentleman will have a look at the lady, just lifting his glass with a nice smile and an eye contact, and he might go to the lady's table and start a conversation with her. Okay, what does he say? What should you say? You can just introduce yourself, you can just say that you saw that uh, she was by herself and you were by herself, you were in the mood of mm. talking and having a conversation with someone nice. Da da da. Uh, <laughs> like da 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 I've never done that before. So, what's what's the next one in the bai tian shop? In the daytime, easily and to look really like a gentleman. Mm -hmm. Before you leave the place, you might want to offer her a cup of coffee or a cup of juice or anything else just right before you leave when you go to settle the bill you might say okay would you mind offering a coffee a cappuccino to that lady and then you can go to talk to her just very briefly just one sentence telling her for example i just wanted to give a nice start to your day i'm very happy to offer you a cappuccino i have to go now you can exchange which chat if you feel like you can just go and Tell her I hope to see you again soon here. Perfect. That line. I just wanted to give a nice start to your day. Basically, I'm just changing a bit your day. I'm making it nicer because I, I met you, I'm offering you a coffee. Yeah. Kind of a nice uh, connection. Well, I just wanted to give you a nice start to your day. Oh, there's a cup of coffee. eBay Cafe, gain you her. A little bit of small talk. We shin. Bye bye. Exactly. And the good thing about this one, Gurman, is you must tell the girl, well, Mahjong Zola, I've got to go. What gash again? So she knows that you're not going to stay there and drink a whole cup of coffee with her and waste all her time. Uh, it's too much pressure. Ya li tai da la. Niya hen xing shu de gita shuo, ni gan shi jian, ni mahjong yao zola, dan shi, ni jue de ta han hao, gita ma yi bei, liao ji ju, wei xin, bye bye. Yes, exactly. You don't perfect. want to force her to talk to you. That is perfect. In both your examples, you've got to buy her stuff. You have to be a gentleman. There are not plenty of ways to be a gentleman. But you just as money. a first, no. Nah. <laughs> what if you have? What if you have no money? No, no. More than money, you have manners. Manners, manners. are the, mo the most important. So, by a nice smile, a nice eye contact, a nice mm. gesture, and being a gentleman, I'm not forcing you to talk to me. Mm. I'm leaving soon, but I really hope to see you again soon. Manners make a man. Exactly. And money make a manners. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come and short out Charlie. If you liked this video, Jida. Yenzan and Pinglun Guanju and we'll see you next time. Gambei cheers. cheers.